what fascinates me about research is that you never know what you are going to find. It's always the unexpected that makes you continue and looking forward to what is the next thing that you will see. Until now, it has been possible to grow in culture uh, the tubular system of the kidney, but uh, these kidneys do not grow vessels. In the beginning, we found blood cells within the kidney before they join the blood circulation. This is not uh, a normal thing because since you are not connected to the uh, blood circulation, how could you get blood cells? We identified the precursors. Now we know that all the vessels form basically, basically from two uh, major precursors, one for the inner layer of the vessels and one for the outer layer of the vessels. First step is uh, just simply isolate the embryonic kidney and we uh, dissect and uh, section the uh, tissue and just you know, stay them using antibodies to look at the different type of cells. And in doing that, we can trace the precursor's fate. Uh, we label these precursor with colors uh, using genetic method, then uh, we do immunostainings that um, to confirm their identity to see uh, who they're going to differentiate to and how they're going to form the vasculature anomaly. These findings may explain why the kidney can start making blood again, and what we think is because these precursors knew how to make blood early during development and under a, a stimulus that more blood cells are needed, the kidney may be able to redo it. We don't know the function uh, of the molecule S1P1 during the kidney development. And using our method, we are able to tell their function. And it, uh, we prove that it's really crucial for the kidney vascular development. The kidney uh, has many, many important functions. It's a fascinating little machine that takes care of ourselves to maintain well-being.